All right, my dudes, welcome back to another Movie Monday. This week, I am talking about the movie. It's an old one. It's a fantastic one. And I don't know why it took me so long to see it. So, let's go. The Prowler from 1981. This is streaming right now on Shudder. This movie blew my mind. The concept's amazing. The freaking slasher dude's costume's awesome. Everything's great about it. So, Again, I don't know why it took me so long to see this movie because I remember hearing about The Prowler and just not knowing where it came from or I guess it just wasn't something that, again, I didn't grow up hearing about it. And anyways, so I finally saw this on Shudder and I was like, oh, the cover art's so cool. And I had no idea what I was getting into. So it starts off this movie and you see like this big boat like coming in, like I guess like a bunch of soldiers coming back from war. And, uh, you know, they're having, like, their dance kind of thing. Like, yay, welcome home type thing. And what happens is you got, basically, a killer dude on the loose who ends up stabbing people with pitchforks. Yeah, so that, this is, like, his whole thing. He stabs you with a pitchfork or, like, a knife, and he's wearing, like, a full-on commando, like, outfit, like, fatigues, big army boots. And then he also has, like, this this, like netting up kind of thing over his face so you can't see who he is oh man it blew my mind because it's so it's such a simple little idea and it's terrifying and they it's filmed so well so they basically throw you through this intro you figure out that this many years ago a killing happened they never caught who it was so you got these kids getting ready for another dance type thing and, of course, shit starts going down. And they have no idea who it is. They have no idea what's happening. And your characters are so kind of, like, classic. Um, you have, like, the cop. The, the like, I don't know, the hotshot cop who's trying to, like, figure it all out. And then you have, like, like the main girl who's, like, the shy girl, though. Like, she's not, like, really, like, a final girl cut type vibe, but... She wants to be, kind of thing. And then you have, like, you know, the hot one who's, like, getting it with every... Anyways, you have, like, all this dynamic, which is pretty classic in, like, a slasher film. But the special thing about this movie is it's one. It's just filmed so well. This movie's literally filmed so well in the sense that I felt like I was watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre a bit. One of the, like, best movies of all times, right? When you watch that film, everything is very... It's just shot so well, and you feel like you're being chased. You feel like you're part of the chaos. This movie has some wicked death scenes and wicked chase scenes that you just feel like you're in it. And again, he's so spooky, right? Like, he shows up, and you're like, he's like this ominous character of, like, who are you? And, like, again, like, you don't really think about people in, you know, war fatigues as being something like, negative I mean Remembrance Day is huge here you know what I mean like it's one of those things where it's like you don't think that badly about somebody in you know an, an outfit like that but like this movie <laughs> it's like you watch it you're like oh my god it's so spooky so I would love to know if you guys grew up watching The Prowler if you've seen it already and if you have what you think about it because I think this is literally a uh, hands down great film that deserves more love like I haven't even ever like seen people wearing the Prowler t-shirts or like dressed up as him at conventions my buddy showed me one of a dude actually like doing like a solid cosplay was it cosplay anyway you know what I mean um but I haven't seen it done yet and he's so scary it's so good was there more of these movies I'm gonna have to google that after <laughs> anyways if you're subscribed Thank you so much. And if you're not, that's okay, dudes. But if you want to be a part of the party, do it. Because it's a lot of fun. And then you get to, like, know, like, when we're going live or, like, when we're posting new shit. It's worth it. Have a wicked week and recommendation day. I I have finally watched enough things to make a recommendation day this week. So I'm super stoked. And it's going to be a weird game of threes. Because a lot of you recommended things with threes involved in them. So... Yeah, it's, it's get ready. <laughs> okay, you guys have a wicked week. <laughs> Bye.